What's going on guys, Kapori Brothers here for another video. And uh, this, this one is gonna be the day where, this is gonna be the video where we just like knock this car. Yeah, we're gonna knock that out. So obviously you can tell by the of the video, we're gonna go and tell you everything wrong with our 1997 Rentec 40th anniversary SL500. That, that we know of as of right now. That we know of right we now. Has, only, we haven't, we've got 10 miles on this car maybe. Yeah. We haven't really driven it much because uh, the weather was crappy, then we I washed we, it and- We got we it went, last week when it snowed and yeah. then we uh, parked it while it snowed and then we detailed it. So now it's all, well not detail, take a, uh, preliminary we detail. We do like our full paint correction and like the, the leathery treatment on the inside because there's still like a lot of work that needs done. But we'll yeah, but let's, guys, let's go and so. go. So back on, give him a little walk around. Nice All little right. Bradley Martin there. Raw gear hoodie, huh? It's pretty nice, huh? It's pretty nice, yeah. You need sponsored by them. How's that look, Drippy? You get the hat too. It's drippy, huh? All right, so right off the bat, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the outside. I'll go hold the whole thing, so. A little windy out. Hopefully, everybody can hear. Car park in the shade. You see the snow. Yeah. It's actually kind of nice. But, but anyways, first things first. Um, as you can tell, the car the, got 135,000 miles on it. So we need some new turn signals. There's um, the front end does have a you know good amount of rash on. A couple it. little like those, those cracks right there. Stress cracks. You can see a lot of stone chips. Uh, we bought touch up paint. Hopefully, it matches because this was kind of hard to find paint for this car. Yeah. And we're gonna go through and touch up all the all the noticeable stone chips. You can tell there's there's quite a bit. Um, it looks like at some point there is that focus like Yeah. It looks like at some point there was a plate on here and they screw up the bumper. So this was a Michigan and Florida car. So um, I, don't I don't think know, Florida has front plates. Maybe that. we might leave, leave it off and let it go. It's patina, Nick. A little patina. Yeah. Um, but if not, this is kind of messed up. We might have to put like a Euro play or something in there. But anyways, the stone chips are any touch stop. Um, these side markers. This looks like it's out of a line. I'm about to fix that, but the side markers gotta go. These are not the original ones. It's supposed to have like the, the half orange, whatever. Yeah, it's supposed to be like half, like a, the amber color on this side, and then it fades into the clear. So that's have to get taken care of. Um, as far as the rest of the outside goes, there's quite a bit of. Well, there's another stench here, but there's a lot of dents. So we're gonna have to get some PDR done on this car. Um, I don't know if you can see. There's, a, see there's you can see there's some dents here. There's one right there. Yeah, yeah. it did go down along the side. It looks like somebody parked in their garage and didn't give, yeah, it, didn't give a shit. We'll definitely have to get some PDR done. Uh, the wheels, they're not like horribly curved, but they are curved. A few of them are curved, like this one. And the finishes, you can tell it's really faded because okay, the wheels could, right there. You can see yeah. the wheels could use a refinish. The car is old, so we're gonna get all the wheels refinished. That paint um, though, huh? I say the paint. Well, you're in the way right now, but. but paint looks good uh let's come out to the back here the back of the car angle looks pretty good i don't think the lights are all in good shape obviously these came factory d-badge yeah a couple stone chips here so here. we're gonna leave that off we might we might throw a rent tech badge on the oh, back there's here a little, there's a little damage here oh yeah right there they, i might be able to buff off some of the white stuff and try to fill it it's in not a little cracked, bit just the paint's a little you know obviously yeah they got rubbed up against I it i say it looks like they might have backed into something a couple little marks here and there, nothing major. But you remember, this car is what 20? What years is 97? So 20, 135,000 miles. I'm 25, so I mean, this car I was born 96, so I mean, this is 24 years old, right? You see the wheels right there a little bit. These tires are definitely need to go. Yeah, say so that needs uh, there's some more dents on this, but like a couple little dents here and there. Um, oh but overall, the outside's not horrible. So there's a couple more dents here, a couple scratches. There's here. a dent right there. I think there's a dent right there. Overall, it's not horrible now. Um, the red tech brakes, I think only red tech. Um, did the front brakes. I think the back might still be Mercedes brakes. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, red tech brakes, there's a major lip on yeah, these. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. They still feel pretty smooth. Like, there's, no vibrations. There's, a, there's, a... there's no vibrations, but they, they actually still feel pretty smooth, but there's a heavy lip, so they mean, that means these are probably be replaced. Um, the shocks, the one thing we noticed too about the shocks going over bumps, um, in and out of the driveway over the curb, we noticed that it squeaks quite a bit, and it's, it's pretty bouncy. Would you say it's Yeah. Bouncy? So smooth on, I mean, we're about to on bad roads, but when you're on a smooth road, it's fine. But when you're going on bumpy roads, it kind of like hops a little bit, especially in the back. So I definitely need some springs and shocks. I don't know if it needs springs, shots and shocks. I mean, struts, all of it, or maybe just springs. I don't know. But for sure, we're gonna have to do something with suspension. Um, we like to actually do the H and R lowering springs, but for some reason, H and R, they say they only the springs are only good from 90 to 96. Yeah, so I don't know. This is 97. There was, there was a 40th anniversary SL like this that sold on MB Mucker recently, and it had the um, it had the HR, HR lower springs. springs. And the fitment was beautiful. So I don't know which which um, which ones they used, but we're gonna have to do some research and see which ones. This will look good lower. There's way too much gap in there right now. So I tell you, what, I love these wheels. Obviously, the Evo 2 wheels. But I tell you what, they look bad on this car. I see. It just it, the front looks good. It's, it's, I, it, I absolutely love this wheel. It looks good on a lot of the '90s Mercedes. But look at that like all, negative offset back there. It just sticks well, in. Like it's, it's, they're not wide enough for the car. Yeah. Like, when you look down the side, they're in too far. It needs a spacer. Yeah, it needs a spacer or something. They should have been like a yeah, 265. Obviously, uh, for people who don't know, the AMG, well not AMG, but the sport package cars that had the mono blocks. They're which, wider. Those wheels were nine and a half in the rear, and these ones are only. I think uh, eight and a half or eight. They might only be eight. It's only a 245 on there. That's probably an eight and a half then. Yeah. 245. So I mean, the, the, obviously the model blocks are definitely wider, but 
Uh, that's pretty much everything on the outside, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, the yeah, it's going on the inside. Let's show the engine, engine next or inside? Let's do engine. Let's do the engine next. I open up the engine here. Obviously, get the Grantec carbon fiber intake box. Looks pretty uh, good. M119. Well, we don't really know a whole lot of what's going on in here as of right now, but the one thing we did notice, it does have a couple oil leaks. It looks like maybe the valve cover is leaking. Yeah, can, Something's leaking here, you can tell it's leaking. And down on the drip pan, there's a little bit of a leak. Not in there. Nothing major. Um, it doesn't look like anything major, at least. And the only thing we noticed there's too, a, the car is idling. It sounds something. Like, it sounds like, like one of the pulleys, maybe this pulley, I don't know, this is the power string pump, I think. I don't know if it's a power string pump or one of the pulleys down there. It sounds like it might be making some noise. So this we'll radiator to, hose looks like it's brand new. I said we'll have to get that looked at. Yeah, this hose looks like it's good. Um, other than that, it's, it also yeah. sounds like there's a ticking coming from like right behind the headlight. I have no idea what it's that is. Like, like a pumping. So I, I think it might. Be, it might honestly be the power string pump. It <sighs> might be. I don't know. We'll have to get that looked at. But it's definitely making some noise. Maybe we'll record it and put a clip in. Or all that's pretty clean, huh? Other than that, it's pretty good. I think it needs a good tune-up. It definitely needs uh, some good cleaning here. I, we'll have to check the plugs. I don't know if it needs any plugs or what it needs. I don't even know when the fluids are done last, but the oil doesn't look too bad, so we'll probably have to do all the fluids. Um, the plugs. Water. This is nice. These are these are always in bad shape. I'll check the plugs and see if the plugs are in good shape. If they are, if they aren't, we'll replace them. Original Rentec from um, the 90s. I say other than that, I don't know about the air filter. Truck tires are pretty good. Yeah, so we didn't check any of that. I said everything in, in here, everything is overall in pretty good shape. It's just pretty dirty down in there. I mean, look at the detail was never really the edge of bay was never really cleaned up that well, but even the even the mat up here. I see the mat's in good shape. I don't see any like uh no rips or causes yeah, to beat the hell. It's a little bit dusty, a little dirty, but. Oh, we haven't done any detail work on the engine, obviously, not yet. I see. All, all I did was I wiped off like up here a little bit, but yeah, it's it, it's gonna need once once we figure out the oil leaks and a couple other things, make sure that squeaking is nothing. This uh, part, this part just needs to be gone through altogether. Yeah, I say, we'll, we'll, I'll try to clean all this stuff up real nice. This car has been sitting inside. since October at the dealership, so yeah, I say it was, it's, it was sitting for a while, but and I'm sure they didn't drive it. All right, let's go and do the uh, passenger side first. All right. As far as, as this side goes, door panels all, clean. all of these R129s around the door switches, they always get nicked up and they look absolutely terrible. So as you can tell, this one, you know, no exception. It's pretty nicked up. I don't know if this is something that can be replaced or if it's gonna have to be re-dyed or what, but- or repainted. Repainted, that's but gonna have to get taken care of. So yesterday we cleaned up the um, door. That looks pretty good. The cover was really nasty. I was able to clean up a little bit, not too much, but as far as the door panel goes, it's, the rest of the door panel is in pretty nice shape, as you can see. It's still a little bit, kind of a little bit dirty in some spots, but uh, like I said before, we're gonna do a leathery treatment on the interior once this we, we figure out what we're gonna do by the seats, but maybe that'll bring some color back to this. But as of right now, this is what's gonna look like. So not horrible, but Look at the carpets. The carpets are Mercedes. absolutely perfect. Obviously, the car came with the 40th anniversary carpets, carpets which we will not be using. Yeah. These are the original R129 regular carpets. Yeah, so th those are I, I shampooed and uh, steamed and everything. They're absolutely perfect. Dash, everything in the dash here is really, really nice condition. Everything's nice. The wood, no cracks that I can see in the wood grain. Oh, the steering wheel. The steering wheel, yeah, has a lot of cracks. I'll get to on that side. But the one thing we noticed about this car, we're not trying to figure out, we don't know why. But these buttons are in a different order than on a regular SL. And it, for some reason, it has two traction control uh, buttons. And this is and supposed some, to be for the roll bar. Yeah, well, the, the roll bar one's here, so it was moved. But we have two of these here. And the only thing we can think of, somebody told us, is that maybe if it has the Rentec rear differential yeah, the one of, for the LSD, one of those is for that, but which I don't understand because why would it? Why, why would you need another one if you already have one? Would, wouldn't know. it be? I don't know. If somebody knows something about it, let us know. If not, oh well. Um, here, here's the, the big problem with this interior right now. I'll show you. The headliner in this thing is just absolutely trash. Yeah, Please sagging, as you can tell. So we're gonna have to get that redone. Um, but other than that, like back here, as you can see, the carpets are really, really nice condition. The leather in the back is nice. The seat, this is, um, we're probably gonna have to get these redone. Or replace all together. Or replace all together. This one is not horrible, but we'll show you in the driver's side. The, dri the driver's side is nasty. The back um, seat on this We've seen people on, in videos, they'll do a restoration on seats where they'll fill in all the cracks with like that um, that filler and then they re-dye the seats. So that might be an option if it's not too expensive, but if it is an expense, we might just get a whole new like leather skins to put on there so it looks nice and new. But we'll show you the driver's seat now because that's where the big problem is. All right, same thing on this door panel. You can tell here's a lot of yeah. discoloring, a lot of wear, but same thing down here no exception the buttons it's all worn out so we're gonna have to figure out what we can do about that i don't know if you can if there's a dye or something you can repaint these take maybe take them off or paint them but we'll have to get that taken care of these this looks like it might have been glued to some point fixed so we're gonna have to fix that um now here's the big problem we'll show them the show them this steering wheel first completely covering cracks yeah which is normal that happens on every mercedes really yeah, i don't know if you can see in the cameras and pick it up or not but 
Um, we're gonna look at, uh, other than that, the leather's in pretty decent shape. We're gonna see if we can find maybe a replacement steering wheel. If not, it's not really a big deal because, you know, it's not like it's gonna affect anything. Same thing on these carpets too. I'll, just, I'll pull this thing up here. We had we uh, cleaned it up real nice. I like how there's the carpet underneath the stair wall on yeah, both like sides. That I love that. Like the Ferrari Old stuff. Ferraris, yeah. Now, here's the big problem with this seat. Show them this seat now, Nick. I so always take it to yeah, camera. Go ahead, I'll show you. Uh, for people who don't know anything about the R29s, the bolstering on the driver's seat always tends to wear down really fast, and they always get this huge hole here, which I mean, ours is no exception. It has the hole. So, like I said, we're gonna have to either get this repaired. And, we'll get the, the and get the seat, the you know, redyed, or we'll have to replace the whole seat. I haven't decided yet, but we're going to make some calls and see if anybody in Pittsburgh can fix it. Um, but they require red tech seats. Yeah. Or you can see here, too, we got some cracking on the seat. Uh, this, the leather itself doesn't feel horrible. It's not, like, completely dry, but if they can repair this, it'd be nice. But if not, we'll probably have to replace it. But other than that, the rest of the interior, as you can tell, is super, super nice. Well, dash. Sure everything is functional in here, too. I say that we know of as of right now, everything works. The roof, we had the dealership send us videos of the roof. Went up and down the... Yeah, the so, so the soft top does work. We just haven't taken it off to try it ourselves because it's cold here. But the headliner, yeah, it's nasty. So um, as far as the interior goes, we just need to get a couple things fixed. And the interior will be really nice. And then the outside... So it cleans up nice. The outside, same thing. It needs, you know, some PDR, some stone chips fixed. And I say once, once all the, once all these dents and stuff are all taken care of, uh, we'll do gonna do the paint correction on this. Yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, the, the car, I mean, we'll have to see what it needs mechanically because, like I said, that the, there sounds like there's a squeak or something coming from the front. It might just be a pulley. Don't know yet, but we'll have to get that taken care of. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's a pretty, I would say it's a pretty solid car as of right now. We haven't driven it much. It's like typical stone chips and stuff, but like yeah. driver's car, it's not a collector. Yeah, so, well, the other thing too that I forgot to mention too, it seems like for some reason on the highway, it seems like the steering wheel has a little bit more play than normal. So I don't know if that's, if, I mean, the steering wheel feels kind of loose. I don't know if it's play, it just feels kind of, kind of loose. So I don't know. I think there's a, um, there's a, like a, what is it? That thing, it's a, one of the steering pieces under the front seat class has it. They go bad a lot. It's like a shock that goes across. That might be bad, so. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I mean, we got this. This car was for sale, I think, in what October yeah. of '21. Car stopped for sale for three months. I actually looked at it a couple times when it was first listed, and uh, I say for the price and miles that they were asking, I was like, ah, eh, it's not really a good deal. But then I kept looking at it because they lowered the price a few times, and then I, I happened to notice the exhaust in the back. I was like, wait a minute, that's that's not you know standard Mercedes exhaust. That's good stuff. I saw that it had the, the Rentec tips. I was like, oh crap, that's, that's Rentec. So then. I was looking at some more pictures. I saw the Rentec brake, so then I messaged the dealership. I said, "Hey, send me some pictures of the engine." They sent me the picture, and I saw the Rentec box, and I was like, "Oh man, this is a, this is definitely got some Rentec action going on." So, all right, guys, like Matt said yeah. in the previous clip, we did buy this. It's a, it's a nice driver's car. It's not, it's not really. I mean, it's a collector yeah. car, but it's a driver's car. It's not like I a. It's a collector car. And obviously, um, well, I mean, like I said, they're rare. It's a collector car, and it has the Rentec goodies on it, so it makes it you know a little it's more a, valuable. You can drive it on a weekend. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely a driver's car. It's not like a, a you know a, a showpiece. Like our E350, where you just. Park yeah. it and just look at it on the weekend. Yeah, like some, a couple of our other cars are like pristine. This one obviously it's more more of a driver. But once we do those repairs that we said, it's gonna look up it'll, it'll look very presentable. Oh, and yeah. um, I said, I'm excited to see it when it's all, I said, it's all fixed up. So. I said we just wanted to come on camera and show you guys what was wrong with it because everybody keeps asking if there's anything yeah. or whatever. So that's pretty much it. Um, I said once we get like the seats and everything taken care of, we'll make videos. Oh yeah, so everything going along you know, with the finished product and. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, I think. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so go ahead and follow us at the Gafori Brothers. Give this video a like, share, tell your friends, and then we'll see you guys in the next video.